Dave, and together with our dogs Bell and Hudson, we're exploring the world in our Casita travel trailer. Come see where we go next. Today we are working our way back up towards Northern Ontario for one last night of camping. We are headed to Sturgeon Bay Provincial Park. It's surprisingly close to home, yet we've never heard of it, so we're very interested in checking this one out. Whenever we're traveling, we like to find unique places to eat that we couldn't find near our house. This means we try to avoid chain restaurants. This time around, we started to get hungry, so we stopped at this fry stand called The Fry Guy. At first glance, it looks like a regular fry stand, but it was neat because it not only had great fresh food, but there was also a nice patio with great views and clean indoor washroom facilities, which is pretty rare for a roadside fry stand. Given that the campground that we're going to is fairly isolated, we stopped in the little town of Mactier at the local food land to pick up some groceries for dinner. With just 82 campsites, Sturgeon Bay is one of the smallest provincial parks we have ever been to. We talked to a few of the regulars who come here every year, and they all agree this is a hidden gem that not a lot of people know about. But if you do know about it, you want to come back again and again. And we can definitely see why. More than half the sites have lake views, and there are beautiful windswept white pines throughout the park. He has teeth, look at those. That's crazy. And we have three snakes too. Three snakes? Yeah. Are I they rattlesnakes? No. They're, um, the they're water snakes. Water snakes. Water oh, snakes. the non-venomous ones? Yeah. yeah. Um, there's one boy. I'm happy because it's my birthday and this is Oh, happy birthday. birthday. There's one boy Very and two cool. girls. During our trip to the food land earlier today, we found fresh bread, sliced salami, spicy mustard, pickles, and cheese. These ingredients made the most delicious toasted open face sandwiches for our dinner. As we typically like to do, after we finished dinner, we did some more exploring of the park. As 
we were checking things out, we met this cool couple who had noticed our casita coming into the park earlier. They waved us over to their campsite and showed us their 13-foot bowler trailer that they camp in with their two kids and dog. Now that's impressive. You're giving me the evil eye. <laughs> we we'll woke up to pouring rain outside, but no worries, we were cozy in our trailer. I stayed in bed and Dave made us some delicious breakfast, complete with fresh coffee, fried eggs, and toast. But before too long, the weather cleared up and we were able to enjoy the park a little bit more before hitching up and getting ready to head home. These rocks are iconic. We know that we're getting close to home when we pass by these. This road trip through Ontario is loads of fun, and it's definitely making us want to explore Ontario even more. But you can tell from this that Hudson was pretty tired getting back, and I think he was happy to be home. If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It really does help us out. And don't forget to come back tomorrow to see where we go next.